Today, we're going to react to some real life real estate agent websites. Some are good, some are kind of meh, but we're going to try to keep it positive or at the very minimum constructive. Okay, let's go. Revel Realty, revolutionizing real estate. Uh, okay, it's kind of a lofty uh, thing. Are they actually revolutionizing real estate or is this more just like a fancy tagline? Um, I see the Revel in revolutionizing, so it looks like it's some kind of branding tag. Okay, cool. Got your featured listings, some kind of new construction sold out. I don't know what that means. Want to be revolutionary. Okay, we're back at it with the Revel. Um, and then you got the definition of Revel. Join the revolution. Want to be. So I guess my problem <laughs> with this is it's kind of over branding. It, it's just kind of like what does it all mean and specifically what does it mean to me as a potential client of this real estate agency live life and sell fast with revel realty let's try join the revolution let's see what happens movement that elevates your passion for real estate uh, it's a little i don't know what that means okay okay so this is actually joining the revolution is becoming an agent at this agency so uh interesting right off the bat i i think the problem with this website is it's trying to accomplish two things this website should just be focused on potential clients have a completely separate website maybe for um recruiting potential agents oh okay <laughs> uh this is by no means a perfect like like an outstanding website design but i actually kind of like this um I like that it's really clear. There's a big picture of Leo front and center. Looks like a friendly guy. Um, and then we also have his email and his phone number front and center. Very easy to, very easy to find that. Like I said, this is kind of a corny design, but I kind of like it. It does what it needs to do. I mean, realtors are really selling themselves. And I guess, I mean, that's why you see their faces on buses and, and park benches. Um, so I like that Leo put his face on the homepage of the website. And the rest of the website here is pretty standard stuff. My listings, testimonials, mortgage calculators. Yeah, it's pretty standard stuff. Okay, let's move on. All right, the Jason Berry team. And we got cool video in the background here. Um, I do kind of think there should be a photo of the team front and center. I don't get why realtors don't do this. Like I said, they plaster their faces on buses and park benches. Uh, should be the first thing on their homepage. Number one team in San Diego since 2008, as published by the Wall Street Journal. This is this is something you see a lot with real estate agents, right? Does anyone, I mean, is anyone buying this? Like, let's see. So let's search number one realtor in San Diego. Um, looks like Sean Hammers is claiming the number one realtor in San Diego. Looks like Laura Berry, luxury estate number one realtor in San Diego. Kendra, the Kendra Todd Group, number one realtor in San Diego. Jeff Coles, number one realtor in San Diego. Number one realtor in San Diego. The Shafron Group, his name is... <laughs> and the Shafron Realty Group, the Wall Street Journal, also named the number one realtor in San Diego. I mean, you do see this a lot, so it must work, but, but there's going to be a segment of people who are just kind of rolling their eyes at this. So, like, if this is true, maybe, like... Um, maybe you can explain it, add a sentence of explanation. So like, let's see. Uh, I don't know, something like that. Okay, let's scroll down, become an exclusive VIP member. Join our VIP, I wonder what that is, let's see. Is that become a... Okay, I mean, that just looks like a normal newsletter. So just say like, join our newsletter and explain the the value that you'll get by joining the newsletter. Let's go down. Nice. There's a photo of the team. Right on. Sign up for a weekly newsletter. Yeah, this is, I actually would just swap out the VIP with this. Sign up for our weekly newsletter. Local real estate updates, new listings, and more. I feel like if you A-B tested that, this would convert much better. Okay. C&H, real estate partners. Oh, this is a, I mean, this is a really pretty website. This is nice. I like that the email and the phone are obvious. Uh, homes in Santa Barbara. Oh, that's a really nice photo of the team. 
Yeah, this is pretty. Explore neighborhoods. Let's check out. I mean, a lot of real estate agents will have these neighborhood guides. It's for search engine optimization. They want these pages to rank well in Google. Explore Santa Barbara. Oh, that's nice. It looks like they commissioned some videos to be done. We have a little paragraph. Oh, that's it. So this looks really nice, but I'd be very surprised if this actually ranked in Google for anything. It's a little too light on content. Let's confirm that. I'm opening SEM Rush and I'm searching this page. And yeah, it looks like it's gotten zero organic search traffic. So, okay, Guy Arcani. I like the photo. It's a very friendly photo. Um, and you got your email and your phone. Perfect. Let's dive in. Let's check out sellers. Luxury real estate seller in Toronto. Another great photo of a guy uh, sitting at the counter. I trust that this information and tips we discuss will be of great value. As a member of the boards, I have been fortunate. I attribute my success to realizing this. So one thing is this page is all about guy. If we let's search like how many eyes are there? Yeah, it looks like there. There are nine eyes, and let's search you. Um, there's only one you in this entire paragraph. So as much as possible, you want to make your copy about the visitor. So you should be using you. Talk about what they get, their value. Try not to talk about yourself too much. Uh, let's, I wonder if the same thing would have happened on the, buy, the buyer's page. Let's go buyers. Another great shot of guy. Handsome dude. As a proud member of the real estate boards, I've been involved in real estate as one of the top producing agents. I live in the downtown core. I'm fortunate to have local experience. Again, this is all about Guy. Um, and this is actually more of a bio page than anything else. When someone clicks buyers, they're saying, hey, I'm a potential buyer. Can you help educate me? Tell me what to expect. This should be about the visitor, not about Guy. All right, Team Jordan. Team Jordan does real estate better. There's lots of this kind of like vapid branding, but like, how exactly do you do real estate better? Like, spell it out for me. I I believe you, but like, tell me. Um, this all looks pretty good. Let's go back up. Um, I, I saw this button book. Uh, let's check that out. Oh, I like this. This is good. Book an appointment with an agent. Discuss your options in the current market. Yeah, I'm surprised more people don't do this. Just like... Book a 15 minute block for us to have a conversation. Um, I see a lot of people putting their phone number, but uh, maybe this is just a me thing, but I would much prefer to say like, I want to book a half an hour conversation and, and let's talk. Um, I like this buyer consultation. Look at this. You can choose any time block. That's great. All right. Jennifer Furland. I like this. This is a very pretty website. Uh, nice photo, soft palette. Bringing wellness to real estate. Okay. We're all biochemically unique. Buying or selling your home should be too. Oh, that's a nice photo of Jennifer. Oh, I like this. She's got videos. Hi, guys. It is Tuesday tour, and I have just found the beachiest Edwardian. I think this is great. Video is such a great way to connect with people, to be human. That's exactly what you should be doing as a real estate agent. Let's see what she's got on her buyer's page. To get you home oh i like that let's get you home see she's talking she's using you language not i language that's great uh buying a home in san francisco oh i love this uh i mean the text could be a little bit bigger but um this is what's kind of missing on a lot of like realtor websites it's just like a clear explanation of what you should expect this is a way to educate people great idea deborah smalley luxury real estate Random photos of homes. I think I've said this a few times, but I think it's always better to lead with a photo of yourself. And let's scroll down. Big testimonial. This is too long of a testimonial, though. People don't read. They scan websites. So let's fix this up. I mean, you could pick out any part of this paragraph. I personally like... I like that. Um... Now it's too small and too gray. So let's first, let's make this dark and let's bump up the font size. Give it some line height. It's probably a little too big actually. Okay. 
Let's give it a little margin and let's reduce the size of Anna's name. I just think that looks a little bit better and it's the type of thing someone will actually read. And if you wanted to get really salesy, what I would actually do is say like Anna Bloom sold for $40,000 over asking price. But that's, I mean, whatever, that's up to you. Okay, Carrie White, real estate agent. What is the new normal? What is the new normal? I don't know. Oh, how to successfully say it. Oh, this is smart. Like, how, how, nobody's talked about COVID-19. I would imagine that's a huge deal for real estate agents. Open houses are canceled. Online. Oh, this is great. This is concrete, practical advice um, that honestly is kind of missing on a lot of these realtor websites. Schedule appointment. I love that. Awesome. Schedule an appointment and I'll bring the bubbly at signing. Okay, that's kind of cute. But um, I think if you were actually to test some copywriting here, what you would find is that the heading should really make your visitors feel really comfortable, really encourage them to reach out. So like maybe something like this. Let's book a 15 minute phone chat. Let's book a 15 minute. Let's get rid of phone. Let's book a 15 minute chat. No obligation. I'm here to answer your questions. I think if you were to test this, this kind of copy would actually convert much better because I mean, I think people find real estate intimidating. I think people worry that if they talk to a real estate agent, then they're locked in with that real estate agent. So just make it really easy for them to reach out to you. No obligation. I'm here to answer your questions to serve you. Okay, so we've looked at a handful of realtor websites. And overall, I hope I wasn't too critical because it's it's hard to make websites. What's easy is sitting on the sidelines and making criticisms. And that's basically what this whole video was. Now, if you want to build a website, I recommend Squarespace. I use Squarespace for all kinds of websites, uh, my music website, small e-commerce stores I run, uh, and a couple different ones. And even the more beautiful websites in this video were made with Squarespace, like Jen Furland, was made with Squarespace. And Carrie White, I noticed, that's a Squarespace website. You can find a link to Squarespace in the video description. And just so you know, it is an affiliate link, so I might earn a commission. But like I said, Squarespace is what I use, and I do think it's the best website builder. All right, that's it. We're done here.